Hello and welcome to INASTA. This is English language lesson for the fourth grade of high school. The topic today is creative writing. My name is Reykhan Anuhanovic Tadian and I will be your teacher for today. In today's lesson, you're going to structure a short story. Before we start, please prepare a notebook, a pen or a pencil, internet access and a QR code reader. In today's lesson, you're going to try to show your most creative side. I don't know if you like poetry. Maybe some of you write your own poems, while others don't enjoy it as much. But today, you're all going to at least try to write short poems just as a warm up. And you'll see it's not as difficult as some of you might have thought. We'll get to know two types of poems haiku and acrostic poem. I'm sure you have all already heard of haiku, a short form poetry originally from Japan, but do know how to write it. Here is an example of a haiku poem and in the upper right corner you can see numbers 5, 7 and 5. Can you make out what these numbers mean? I'd like you to take a closer look at the poem. It says, in the veins it flows, shaping thoughts into words, strong, a writer's lifeline. Can you connect the numbers to the poem now? These numbers refer to the number of syllables in each verse. The first, and the last one have five syllables and the middle one seven and that is the rule when writing haiku. I'd like you to pause the video now and try to write your own poem on any subject. It should consist of three verses or lines with the given syllables pattern. If you need more examples as inspiration, feel free to look it up online. I'm sure you'll do just fine, you just need to try. And the other type of poem we'll write today is an acrostic poem. It is a poem where certain letters in each line spell out a word or a phrase. Typically, it is the first letter of each line, but it can also be the last one or any of the letters in the middle. Here is an example where the first letters make the word welcome. The lines don't need to rhyme. It can also be only one word for each line, but try to come up with more than one. You do not have a set word. It can be any word you choose, connected to any topic. The most important thing is that the content of the poem is connected to the word or message spelled by the first letters of each line. Please pause the video and try to write the poem. Be imaginative and give your best. Good luck! The poems you have just written are a typical example of creative writing. Do you know what creative writing actually is? How is it different from other forms of writing? Creative writing draws on the imagination to convey meaning through the use of imagery, narrative and drama, unlike analytic or pragmatic forms of writing. 
It is all about using your imagination and creativity to express ideas and thoughts in a way which is personal to you, as opposed to formal, technical or academic writing. It focuses on character development, narrative, plot and imagination. And here are anagrams of different forms of creative writing. I'd like you to pause the video and try to make out the words. What are the different types of creative writing? And here they are. It is poetry, song, play, speech, memoir, short story, novel, script, or personal essay. And now we'll deal with the elements of creative writing with focus on short stories. Short story is a brief fictional prose narrative that is shorter than a novel and it usually deals with only a few characters. I'd like you to pause the video and note down what five elements should an effective short story contain. And here they are. There is plot, characters, characterization, setting, and theme. And now I'd like you to read the explanations on the right and match them with the concepts they describe. Plot is the series of events. Characters, people who react to each other and to the plot events. Characterization, how the characters are created to be realistic and authentic. Setting, where the events are taking place, and theme is the central idea and the overall message of the author. Here is a short video with description of different elements you should have in mind and definitely include when writing a short story. I'd like you to watch it. So please type in the link bit.ly CW elements or scan the code and while watching write down five elements mentioned in the video. And the elements are character and plot development, point of view, dialogue, metaphors and figures of speech, emotional appeal, and heavy description. Most people encounter problems when they need to start writing. They don't know how to write the first sentence, for example. When you type in the link bit.ly CW how to, you'll find a more extensive text, but quite useful when writing, with a lot of examples of do's and don'ts, some simple explanations and practical pieces of advice you can use. There are 10 topics dealing with frequent issues you have when writing. So please pause the video and read the text slowly and carefully. Take your time and really get into it. While reading, it might be helpful to note down any information you find most useful for each of these 10 topics. And now I'd like you to create an infographic where you summarize the main points of the text you have just read. You can of course go back to the text and find most useful tips, simplify and summarize them in the form of 10 steps of an infographic that may be used as help when creating your own short story. 
you shouldn't copy the whole sentences, but just take the gist of it and do not include examples since it would make the infographic too long with too much information. We don't need that. We only need the main ideas and guidelines, one or two sentences for each, like an overview of the text. Maybe the best tool to use is Canva. And here is your big task. It is, of course, to write your own creative short story, where you need to apply everything you've learned today. Don't forget to include all elements of writing we mentioned earlier and the tips from the infographic. You will see 10 photos as prompts for your short story. You should take a look at them carefully, take your time, and listen to your imagination. Is there a potential story you see? Which photos speak to you? You should include at least five of the photos in your story and create it around them. And you should write between 200 and 250 words. And here are the photos I've mentioned. Feel free to pause the lesson, calm your mind, and let your imagination speak to you. Choose five or six photos which best fit into your plot. Be creative and be yourself. And this is your checklist. Make sure you have included all the elements plot, characters, characterization, setting, and theme. Please also make sure you have applied tips for creative writing, that you have included five or six photos in the story, and that you have written between 200 and 250 words. I'm sure your stories are incredible and they show your personality. Well done. And this is the end of today's lesson. Until some other time, goodbye.